Hi. In today's session, we will look at how to write trigonometric ratios in terms of another trigonometric ratio. You must be wondering what I'm talking about. In that case, let me let's do a question. Let's express all the trigonometric ratios in terms of sine theta. That means we have all these ratios that is sine theta, cos theta, tan theta, secant theta, cosecant theta and cot theta. We need to write all of that in terms of sine theta. So sine theta equals sine theta. There is no change in that. So sine theta in terms of sine theta is just sine theta itself. Now listen carefully. Now let's take cosecant theta. Cosecant theta is 1 by sine theta. So cosecant theta is 1 by sine theta. <coughs> now cos theta in terms of sine theta. What is the relationship between these two? I can write cos squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Or cos theta equals square root of 1 minus sine squared theta. So now I have cos theta in terms of sine theta. So root of 1 minus sine squared theta. And uh, secant theta is nothing but 1 by cos theta. So I can write it as 1 by root of 1 minus sine squared theta. And what is tan theta in terms of sine theta? I, tan theta is nothing but sine theta by cos theta. So I can write it as sine theta by root of 1 minus sine squared theta. Sine theta by root of 1 minus sine squared theta. And cot theta is 1 by tan theta. Just the reciprocal of this I can write. So root of 1 minus sine squared theta by sine theta. Now using the same method, let us do for cos theta. All ratios in terms of cos theta. So there, let's do it the easy way first. Cos theta anyway is cos theta. Then secant theta is 1 by cos theta. And then what is the relationship between sine and cos? I can say sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. So sine theta is equal to square root of 1 minus cos squared theta. So square root of 1 minus cos square theta. Then I have cosecant theta which is nothing but 1 by sin theta. What is sin theta here? Root of 1 minus cos squared theta. So let us write that. So 1 by root of 1 minus cos squared theta. And tan theta is nothing but sin theta by cos theta. So this is the value of sin and cos. So root of 1 minus cos squared theta by cos theta. And cot is the reciprocal of that. That would be cos theta by root of 1 minus cos square theta. Now everything in terms of tan. Let's take tan straight away. Let's write it as tan theta. Now the other easy one. Cot theta is 1 by tan theta. Next. What is the relationship of and is there any identity in which it has a relationship with any of the other ratios? We have 1 plus tan squared theta is equal to secant squared theta. Or secant theta would be equal to root of 1 plus tan squared theta. So where is secant? So secant can be written as root of 1 plus tan squared theta. And then Cos is nothing but 1 by secant. So I can write it as 1 by root of 1 plus tan squared theta. Now, now the, all that is left is I have cosecant and sine. So cosecant is, so co I can write cosecant as cosecant squared theta is equal to 1 plus cot squared theta. So what is cot squared theta? 1 plus 1 by tan squared theta. Or 
I can write it as tan squared theta plus 1 by tan squared theta. This is equal to cosecant squared theta. So cosecant theta would be taking roots on both sides. Square root of let's say 1 plus tan squared theta by tan theta. Root of tan squared theta is tan theta. So let's write that root of 1 plus tan squared theta by tan theta. Now sin theta is nothing but 1 by cosecant. So I can put it over there. That would be tan theta by root of 1 plus tan squared theta. Okay. So now I have secant theta. Secant with the secant, let's write that part is equal to secant theta. So now th this one is, I have to write everything in terms of secant theta. Then cos is nothing but 1 by secant. So 1 by secant theta. Now let me write this. Now what is this thing? Now let uh, we have to do sine. Now we know cos, so sine squared theta equals one minus cos squared theta, and so that is one by one minus one by secant squared theta. So I can take the LCM and write it secant squared theta minus one by secant squared theta is equal to sine squared theta. Taking roots on both sides, I get sine theta is equal to square root of secant squared theta minus one by secant theta. So now instead of sine theta, I can put root of secant squared theta minus one by secant theta. Now sin theta by cos theta is tan theta. So I can write it as root of secant squared theta minus 1. It, it is there straight away. So next cosecant theta is 1 by cos theta. So cos theta is this. Which one is this? Secant Secant, I have to write it in terms of secant, okay. So cosecant is 1 by sine. So here is secant theta by square root of secant square theta minus 1. See, that's what secant, cosecant theta is 1 by sine. So I just have to write the reciprocal of this value over here. And finally, cot theta. Cot theta is nothing but 1 by tan theta. So I can write it as 1 by square root of secant squared theta minus 1. Now let's go to the cosecant theta. So cosecant theta, let's first write the cosecant theta over here. Cosecant theta in terms of cosecant theta is cosecant theta. Next, cosecant theta is equal to 1 by sin theta or sin theta is nothing but 1 by cosecant theta. So 1 by cosecant theta. Now, cot theta and cosecant theta, there is a relationship. 1 plus cot squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta or cot squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta minus 1. So, taking roots on both sides, cot theta is equal to root of cosecant squared theta minus one. So cot theta is root of cosecant squared theta minus one. So cot theta. So now I have cot theta. I have sine theta. So I can find cos theta because cot theta is equal to cos theta by sine theta or cos theta. So sine theta I can take it this side. So cot theta into sin theta is equal to cos theta. So what is cot theta over here? Root of cosecant squared theta minus 1. And what is sin theta? 
1 by cosecant theta. 1 by cosecant theta. So this can be written as root of cosecant squared theta minus 1 by cosecant theta. So root of cosecant squared theta minus 1 by cosecant theta. And tan is nothing but sin by cos. So what is the sin and cos? Here, so the cosecant theta, cosecant theta cancels out and I get 1 by root of cosecant squared theta minus 1. Now, what is the next one that is over here? Uh, secant theta. Secant theta is 1 by cos theta. So cos theta is that, I just have to write the reciprocal of that. That would be cosecant theta by root of cosecant squared theta minus 1. So what we are left with is finally cot theta. So let's do cot theta. So cot theta, let's go for cot theta and write that cot theta. Tan theta would be 1 by cot theta. And then cot theta, 1 plus cot squared theta is equal to cosecant squared theta. Or I can say cosecant squared theta is equal to 1 plus cot squared theta. Or cosecant theta is equal to root of 1 plus cot squared theta. So cosecant theta, let me write it as root of 1 plus cot squared theta. Now I have cosecant theta. Sin theta is 1 by cosecant. So I can write that as 1 by root of 1 plus cot squared theta. Then we are left with secant and cos. So now, now that we know, let's, let's take any one. So tan theta is equal to sin theta by cos theta. So ting cos up there, I can write as cos theta is equal to sin theta by tan theta. So sin theta is, I found it out as 1 by root of 1 plus cot squared theta by tan. What is tan? 1 by cot theta. So the cot goes up, this goes here. So it is cot theta by root of 1 plus cot squared theta. So cot theta by root of 1 plus cot squared theta. Now secant theta would be 1 by cos. So I can just write the reciprocal of this. So it is root of 1 plus cot squared theta by cot theta. I know that this is a lot of stuff in a very short time but what I suggest is you take a pen and paper and sit down, look at the video, go through the video once and you will get a lot of ideas about how to do this. Because it is, it is just using relationships and each of these trigonometric ratios can be written in the form of any other trigonometric ratio. So whatever be the problem that is asked, it, uh, you can easily do it because they wouldn't be asking you to do this whole whole uh, table. They would only be asking maybe write everything in terms of sign or in terms of cos. So, but this is the method that you have to follow. I hope you understood this. In case you have any doubts about this, please get back to me, message me, call me. Okay.